What is going on YouTube, Akers here again once again with another fun After Effects tutorial and in today's lesson what we're going to be learning is how to create this cool particle intro within After Effects so you can see that we've got some text that comes across the screen and we've also got these particles, these cool looking particles. So this is just a quick preview of what we're going to be learning today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up a new composition, 10 seconds long, that's fine. And I'm going to create a new solid, go to layer, new. I'm going to add a new solid, whatever colour you want, that's fine. And what we're going to do, we're going to go over to effects and presets. And we're going to search for ramp. And if we drag this ramp onto our newly made solid, this is going to give us a nice gradient and we just want to leave the black as it is and change the white to a nice dark blue like so and then turn up the ramp scatter to 100 that's fine and then if we click on the ramp I'm just gonna make it a sort of diagonal ramp from one corner to the other like so that's fine and we'll rename this layer background so we know where we are Cool. So now what we're going to do, we're going to create the first set of particles and we can do that by adding another solid, so layer, new, solid and for the colour of the solid is whatever you want the colours of the particles to be so I want the particles to be sort of a nice dark blue colour and we're going to name this solid main particles Cool. And then what we're going to do is go to Effect, right down to Simulation and then click on CC Particle World. And that's going to give us some nice particles here. And first off what we're going to do is if we drop down the producer, we've got the X, Y and Z radius. The X is will stretch the particles out horizontally, Y will stretch them out vertically and Z will stretch them out towards and further away from the screen so what we want to do we just want to stretch the Z out a little bit and we want the X the X radius the horizontal radius just just to be in the middle like so and then the Y we don't want it too far up we just want a nice sort of oval shape like so so there's the producer, we got the producer producing the particles from the middle and then if we go to physics what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the velocity down to 0.10 and the velocity is just how fast the particles get emitted from the producer and also what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn the gravity to zero so we haven't got any gravity and now what we're going to do, if we select particle drop down the particle menu and we're going to change the particle type from line to lens convex and that gives us a nice sort of circular particles and the reason why we chose the blue solid is because when you choose lens convex you can't change the colour of the particles so say if I wanted some white particles all I'd do is make a white solid and then choose lens convex and then we'd get some white particles so this is looking pretty good so far we might want to stretch out the Z radius just to bring it closer to the camera like so the birth size we're gonna drop down and the birth size is regarding how big the particles are when they're first born and the death size we're gonna leave maybe just drop it down just a little bit like, like so and then the size variation we're going to put up to 100% and the max opacity we're going to put that up to 100% as well and that's pretty much it for our main particles so what we're going to do now if we select our main particles layer and hit command D that's going to duplicate the layer and all we're going to do so now we've duplicated that layer so now we've got two particles but what we're going to do is drop down the producer and we're going to stretch out the X 
and we're going to stretch out the wire and then all we have to do is come down to particles drop down the particle menu and change the max opacity you just want to really bump down the opacitor just maybe to 15 percent so we get some nice background particles and we can rename this layer we'll rename this background particles background particles that's fine and also in the example you can see we've got these nice little white particles going on so to do that all we have to do is select our main particles command D that's going to duplicate the layers and what I'm going to do is go over to the effects and presets and we're going to type in fill and all we have to do is drag the fill onto our newly duplicated layer and we're going to change the color to white so now we've got some nice white particles that's it for the fill for the moment and if we drop down the producer what we're going to do we're going to increase the x radius and also decrease the y radius just a little bit and then what we're going to do we're going to bump up the birth rate so there's more particles at the start and if we scrub through this now we need to go down to the particle and we need to bump down the birth size really low and also the death size really low so we've just got some tiny little white particles just to add that extra and we could also do with increasing the Z radius to bring them more towards the camera like so it's looking good looking good so now what we've got is this nice particle system but what it needs now is some text so before I add the text what I'm going to do I'm just going to rename the white particle layer rename this white particles just so we don't get mixed up so if I go to layer new text you just want to arrange your text how you want maybe make it a little bit bigger center this up and then layer new text object tutorials scale this down make sure everything's in line just to make it look nice and sexy it's looking good looking good so now that we've got our type arranged what we're going to do we're going to if we have a look at the preview you can see that the text comes across flies in and then it flies back off so to do that all we have to do is move to maybe one one second on the timeline select both our text layers hit P on the keyboard that's going to bring up the position and then you just want to hit the stopwatch for the position and then that's going to make a keyframe and all we're going to do is move to the start of the timeline select our acres type and what we're going to do is make both of these text layers 3D so you can do that by clicking on the little 3D box here and then all you have to do is move one text to the left select the tutorials move that one to the right all the way off the screen and if we hit play now we get that nice effect where the text comes across the screen and maybe if we move to around three seconds we're going to hit the diamond button and that's going to add another keyframe and we do the same on acres text so what's going to happen it's going to fly in at one second and it's going to stay there for two seconds until three seconds and then if we move to four seconds select our acres layer we're going to move that over to the right of the screen and then select the tutorials move that over to the left of the screen so what happens now is the text flies in stays there for two seconds and then flies off and you can also select these keyframes and then hit 
F9 on your keyboard, that's going to create some easy ease keyframes. Just make it look nice and smooth. And now what we're going to do, if we have a look at the example, you can see we've actually we're actually moving around in 3D space. So all we need to do to create that is go to layer new camera uh, 50 millimeter yep that's fine and if you select this button here which is the orbit camera tool what that allows us to do is move around within 3d space so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the camera hit P this is gonna bring up the position and all I'm gonna do is move to the start of the timeline maybe move around a little bit hit the stopwatch button I'm gonna move to one second and then you just wanna bring the camera back around to the center like so and that's gonna automatically make another keyframe and we're gonna move to three seconds and we're just gonna move it just a little bit just a little bit down so we've still got some movement going on and then four seconds we're going to move the camera right up here so what's going to happen is the camera is going to fly down as the text comes across it's going to move just a little bit and as the text goes away it's going to move all the way up so that's looking pretty good so far and also what we can do is if we select both of our text layers and this button here this is the enable motion blur and what that's going to do is create some nice motion blur when the text comes across and to add motion blur all you have to do is select the motion blur box on your text layers which is next to the 3d text and you can see now that creates a nice blurry effect when the text comes in so there we go that's pretty much it for today's tutorial hope you learned something new don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I will see you again very soon in another video. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you later.